he had a Richard Mill. He goes, hey, can you change this strap? And I'm not going to disrespect this guy and say it's a fake watch. And when he gave it to me, I started looking. And I was like, wow, it's funny, but I'm still not going to say it's fake. He told me he paid 350,000 euros for this fake thing. So let's go check it out. What I noticed off the bat was a shiny glass and the case. I feel it right away, man. On the movement and on the deployment book, it feels like the other one goes, choo. Hear the sound, it goes click, click. And this one goes, the metal here looks shiny. It's supposed to be titanium, like that dark. When you're opening it, versus white ceramic Richard Mill, a lot more positive mm. click. Look at the glass comparison. The holes on the band are a lot larger. Last but not least, let's look at the size of the screws. Unfortunately, it's a very good copy. Be smart, try to collect your money and forget about it. Listen, maybe he got duped too. God knows.